Praise. Praise thy holy name. <clears throat> I'm coming again in the name of Yeshua. And I'm going to try to finish up Zechariah 14 today. Father, I'm yielding this video, these words over to you. Let your holy will be done and not mine. In the name of Yeshua, amen. Well, as I come to you, I'm going to start this time over in Matthew, the 24th chapter. People are well aware of what it says. So, beginning at the first verse of 24th chapter, as Yeshua left the temple and was going away, his disciples come and ask his come and called his attention to the building. But he answered them, "You will see all this. Wait a minute, let me read it right. You see all of this. Yes, I tell you that they will be totally destroyed. Not a single stone will be left standing." And when he was setting on, setting on the Mount of Olives, disciples come to him in private. Tell us, they said, when will these things happen? And what will be the sign that you are coming? And that the end of ages... Wait a minute, let me, sorry. And that the end is coming. Yeshua replied, Watch out. Don't let anyone fool you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Messiah, and they will lead many astray. You will hear the noise of war nearby, the wars, new wars far off, so that it, <clears throat> see to it that you don't become frightened. Since time, things, since things, I can't read this morning, in the name of Yeshua, I ask you to take over. Since things must happen, but the end is yet to come. For people will fight each other, nations will fight each other, and there will be famine and earthquake in various parts of the world. All this is but the beginning of birth pains. At that time, you will be arrested, handed over to be punished, and put to death. And all peoples will hate you because of me. At that time, many will be trapped into betraying and hating each other. Many false prophets will appear and fool many people. And many people's love will grow cold because of increased descent from the Torah. But whoever holds out till the end will be delivered. And the good news about the kingdom will be admonished throughout the whole world as a witness to all Gentiles. It is then that the end will come. Now he he told he prophesied that about thirty seven years in the future from him that the temple would be destroyed, and we know that it was in seventy AD. Also he lets them know that there's going to be wars and rumors of wars, and there is. There was from the time he left many wars, and there were, um, there's been earthquakes. Many things have come, false prophets. In fact, it was help of a false prophet that caused Jerusalem to fall. So now let's go on in verse 15. So when you see the abomination that causes desolations, now we're speaking about in the future from us, spoken about through the prophet Daniel standing in the holy place, let the reader understand the analogy that will be the time for those in Judah to escape to the hills. Now remember when 
in Zechariah when he put his feet upon the Mount of Olive and it divided and uh, there was those that escaped through the valley. This is what it's talking about. If someone is on the roof, he must not go down to gather his belongings from his house. If someone is in the field, he must not turn back to get his coat. What a terrible time it will be for the pregnant woman and nursing mother. Pray that you will not have to escape in the winter or on Shabbat. That's the Sabbath day. For there will be trouble than worse than for there will be trouble then worse than there has ever been from the beginning of the world until now and there will be nothing like it again indeed if the length of this time had not been limited no one would survive but for the sake of those who have done been chosen its length will be limited at that time if someone says to you look here is the messiah or there he is, don't believe them. For there will appear false messiahs and false prophets performing great miracles. Now during this time, even in um, Revelation 16, it tells that those um, evil frogs that come out will do miracles and things. That's what it's talking about. So, as to fool even the chosen, if possible, there I have told you in advance. So if people say to you, listen, he's out in the desert, don't go, up, go. or look. He's, look, he's hidden away in the secret room. Hmm, let's read that again. There I have told you in advance. So if people say to you, listen, he's out in the desert, don't go. Or look, he's hidden away in the secret room. Don't believe it. For when the Son of Man does come, it will be like lightning that flashes out of the east and fills the sky to the western horizon. Whenever there is a dead body, that's where we will you find the vultures. And you can go in, over and see that in chapter 19, the bottom part of Revelations, where the King of Kings comes and he calls the vultures to that great war. The sun will go dark, the moon will stop shining, and the stars will fall from the sky. And the power in heaven will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. All the tribes of the land will mourn, for they will see him. And they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with tremendous power and glory. And he will send out his angels with great shofar. Now these are not the seven trumpets that sound in the beginning of Revelations. This is one great trumpet prepared for the end time for him to come back on. And they will gather together the chosen people from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Now let the fig tree teach you its lesson. When the branches begin to sprout and leaves appear, you know that the summer is approaching. In the same way, when you see all these things, you are to know that the time is near right at the door. Yes, I tell you that these people will certainly, now these people that is during this time, will certainly not pass away before all these things happen. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. But when that day and hour will come, no one knows. Not the angels in heaven, understand this, not the Son, only the Father. For the Son of Man's coming will be just as was in the days of Noah. Now remember in the days of Noah, the, let's go on. Back then, before the flood, people went on eating and drinking, taking wise, and becoming wise, right up till the day Noah entered the ark. And they didn't know what there was happening until the flood came and swept them away. It will be just like that when the Son of Man comes. And also remember that during the time of Noah, before the flood, the fallen angels was there. It, it, go back to Genesis and read exactly what it says. Then there will be 
two men in the field. One will be taken and the other left. There will be two women grinding at the flour at the mill and one will be taken the other left. So stay alert because you don't know on what day your Lord will come. But you do know this. Had the owner of the house known when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not allowed the house to be broken into. Therefore, you too must always be ready. Always, always be ready. For the Son of Man will come when you are not expecting him. Now let's go back to Zechariah. And I'm going to finish this. Because in 15... He told us about the plagues, like these plagues will also affect the horses, the cattle, the donkeys, and all the other animals in this camp. That is a war. That is talking about an atomical war, because if you go back and you search history about when we b dropped the atomic bomb on Japan, this is what happened to them. Bless their hearts. But that's what's going to happen again in a bigger form over there in that valley that are fighting finally everyone now this is in 16 finally everyone remaining from all the nations that come to attack jerusalem will go up every year to worship the king adonai and to keep the feast of tabernacles that's called the ingathering that's why we have to all go up there every year. They will have to come up. Um, if any of the families of the earth does not go up to Jerusalem to worship the king, Adonai, no rain will fall on them. If the family of Egypt doesn't come up, if they refuse to come, they will have no annual overflow from the Nile. Because, see, they get theirs from the Nile more than just rain. Moreover, there will be plagues with which Adonai had struck the nations that didn't go up to keep the festival of Shakut. So these plagues that had been in that war will come back upon them. I I'm sorry to tell you, they're not, um, they're not, uh, uh, they're not zombies. This, uh, this stuff from this war will be in the atmosphere and he will let it come back on that nation more of a scene this will be Egypt's punishment and the punishment of all the nations that don't go up to keep the festival of Shakut you need to, which is uh, the festival of tabernacles you need to read exactly what they are at the this festival is because it's called the end gathering everybody on earth will have to come before Yeshua Jesus Christ once a year when that day comes this will be written on the bells worn by the horses consecrated to Adonai and the cooking pots in the house of Adonai because remember when Yeshua comes back to earth he will rebuild the te third temple. At that time, before then, they will just have an altar. They will have a, a, a where they can burn sacrifices. But Yeshua will build the tabernacle. Adonai will be as holy as these sprinkling bowls from the altar. Yes, everyone cooking pot in Jerusalem and Judah will con be consecrated to Adonai. Everyone who offers sacrifices will come and take them and use them to stew the meat. When that day comes, there will be no longer merchants in the house of Adonai. He's coming. He's coming. But there has got to be the one of sin that will come first and set his kingdom up over in Jerusalem. And all nations will finally gather against him. Because he will say, I'm God, and he's not God. Blessed be to you today. And bless those people that have lost loved ones.